Good morning. In today's first reading, we hear about God and his people. It talks about speaking the truth and listening to our conscience when making decisions. God lives in each of us. We are his children, and we need to show that we are a people of God by living as he wants us to and by praising him always. In the gospel, we hear the story of Jesus healing a sick man. We need to show that God lives in each of us and that we are people of God by making good choices and doing what we know is right. Please stand and join in our opening song. Good morning, Sacred Heart. As we gather together today in prayer, knowing that the Holy Spirit and Jesus is with us, we gather in his name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, to rejoice in Christ in our lives, we humbly ask that he come among us and heal us of all of our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. to the Roman. I am speaking the truth. I belong to Christ and I do not lie. My conscience, ruled by the Holy Spirit, also assures me that I am not lying when I say how great is my sorrow. How endless the pain in my heart for my people, my own flesh and blood. For their sake, I could wish that myself were under God's curse and separated from Christ. They are God's people. He made them his children and relieved his glory to them. He made his 
covenant with them and gave them the law. They have the true worship. They have Christ as a human being, walks through their race. May God, who rules over all, be praised forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Our response will be praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his rules and his commands to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. His commands he has not made known to them. Sacred Heart, I would now invite us to stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. And the people were, were there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from, from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and the Pharisees in reply, asking, is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not? But they kept silent, so he took the man, and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the, on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer this question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sacred Heart, what, what holiday do we celebrate uh, today? What holiday do we celebrate today? Yeah. Halloween. 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 Um, so I am, I am super, super excited to see what you're going to wear, what you're going to dress up as. I am looking forward to it like nothing other. You can't imagine. Um, so what are you, you going to be today? What are you going to be today? What sort of stuff are you going to dress up as? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I, I, could, I could ask just every single kid and they'd have a different answer. What are you going to be? Ninja. A ninja. What are you going to be? Mario. Mario. What are you going to be? 
Bumblebee? It's, it's like Bumblebee from Transformers. Ah, yeah. But what do you mean? A creeper. A creeper from Minecraft? Yep, yep. What are you going to be? A Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Uh, any dress? You going to dress for anything? <laughs> Sixth graders. What are you going to be? Cookie, Cookie Monster. Monster. Cool. So, all at once, what are you going to be? On three, two, one. Say it. <laughs> so, you're going to be a lot of different stuff. I, I can't answer it all of you because that would take up the, that would take up a whole hour. Um, but some of you are going to be scary things. Some of you are going to be really scary. Some of you maybe are going to be something really, really fun or really, really happy. Um, and Sacred Heart, uh, you know, I like to play video games. And sometimes there are, in video games there are zombies. Do you know what a zombie is? Yes. Zombies are kind of scary, right? If you think about it, if you think about it, a zombie is kind of scary a little bit. At least to me. To me, a zombie is kind of scary. Um, but do you think it would be scary to see a dead person? Yes. Raise your hand if you think it would be scary. Okay. So, so, uh, you know, Sacred Heart, in the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible there are three different, there are different stories of people rising from the dead. Do you know what those three stories, are? I, I can think of like three in my mind, like off the top of my head. Do you know a story where someone rises from the dead in the Bible? Do you know a story when someone rises from the dead? Do you know a story, someone rises from the dead? Jesus, Jesus himself rises from the dead. Exactly. Do you know another story where someone rises from the dead? Do you know? Um, the story about Lazarus? Lazarus, exactly. So that's the second story of someone rising from the dead. Do you know a third story of someone rising from the dead? Do you know? Do you know? God, Jesus rises from the dead. Yes, exactly. Do you know another one? Do you know one? Sorry? St. Francis. St. Francis. Francis? Well, he definitely helped us pray for the dead. Exactly, yeah. Do you know another story of someone who, who rises from the dead? Think of someone really small, like a little girl. And Jesus says, Talatha kum, and... Um, the little girl's eyes open up. So there's three stories, Sacred Heart, of someone rising from the dead. Obviously, the most impressive one is Jesus himself. He died on the cross and he rose from the dead. Um, then there's this little girl whom Jesus calls and she rises after she is uh, gone. And then there are the story of Lazarus. And when these people rise from the dead, were they like zombies? No. They weren't like zombies. They were healed. They were perfect. They were whole. And Sacred Heart, you know, that will happen to us one day as well. We won't rise again as zombies. We'll rise again full of life, full of perfection, just like Jesus rose. That's our fate one day as well, is to rise again with Jesus. So, Sacred Heart, Halloween isn't scary for us as Christians, right? It's not supposed to be scary. It's what we're called to be when we rise again with Jesus in life. It's that reminder that Jesus one day will bring us back to life with him in heaven. I now invite us to stand for our intercessions. We pray that Christ may hear all of our prayers this day. Apostles. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that people will want to be your apostles and help um, spread the good news and pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all people will come to know and love Jesus as we do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the hungry and homeless throughout the world. May they find food and shelter throughout the kindness of ourselves. 
and other people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the harvest continues to be a safe one for the farmers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the elderly, especially those in our area. May they find comfort and friendship from us and other people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died. May they all enjoy new life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this day, we pray for Vern Sheckle and family and the Ambrose Rollings families. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we turn to today and ask that you hear and grant all of our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I now invite you to be seated as we bring forward the gifts. I now invite us to stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
Now invite us to kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Invite us to stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In sacred heart, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Invite us to kneel again. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ give me safe for eternal life.
I now invite us to stand and let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Just a reminder that uh, our school mass next week, next week's school mass will be on Monday, Monday at 9 a.m. We still will have mass on, on Friday, but it won't be a school mass. Mass will still be at 9 o'clock, but the children uh, will be at school. Um, But our school mass next week is on Monday morning uh, for All Saints Day. So I look forward to uh, coming over to school and and, uh, and seeing all of you kids in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, have a great day. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.